Thanks for tuning in, drivers, to another great episode. Today, the dipstick is going to fix the dipstick. Keep watching. bad boy it's supposed to be like that and you can see she's kind of two pieces this is the part that goes all the way down in the uh, oil pan so yeah basically what I'm thinking is happening because it only happens when I really get on it is you know with the oil moving and I really get on it, the oil's probably getting super hot, so it's probably coming up the dipstick and then just spraying out, and then it hits on my headers. And that's what's causing that white smoke. Look, because it's on the passenger side, and this is the only thing on the passenger side. So, hopefully, this will resolve the white smoke issue. So, let's see if we can get this welded up. Let me get set up here, and then I'll bring y'all back. Alright, now I don't know if y'all remember in the exhaust episode where I ended up cooking my uh, welder here. Uh, I got it hot, and it melted the wiring, and it's automatically feeding. So, what I'm going to do is take this apart here and try to get these two wires completely separated from each other so the trigger will quit engaging before I can weld up the dipstick so let's take this apart here and see what we got two wires right in there in the handle look all right so we're going to put this back together before we disintegrate it here Wires again. 
grab my tape over here. We'll be right back. We are back. So I'm going to tape these up individually. If this tape is any good. Did them individually, so now we'll wrap them together. that's good as new. So we will go plug this bad boy in and test it out. See what happens. I'll bring you right back. All right, so we're finally set up here. I got this sitting in here. So basically I'm just gonna hold it up here and try to get a tack on it and then go from there. And the fix on the wire um, worked. So we're good to go there. So let me see if I can set y'all up over here where you can see. Yeah, uh, that's what I was wondering about is if I was going to fill up the hole in here. So I'm going to have to try to find my long drill bed and run through it. So you can see there I had to drill just a little bit to get the dip stick to go through. Uh, no big deal. Uh, I'm going to just spray a little bit of black on this just so she doesn't look like a corroded mess. And that right there saved me about 28 bucks. 
That's about as cheap as I could find them. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit right in here because this slides through that hole. That way it goes in a little bit easier. Just some sandpaper real quick. And then we'll reinstall it and see what happens from there. So, I'll bring y'all right back after I got this cleaned up and ready to go. Alright, we got her all painted up there. We're going to add a little oil here on the shaft so she slides in real good. And then we should be good to go. I'm going to trim this down just a little bit more right here because it was kind of hanging up on my header. So that way I can actually put the bolt in at this time. So I'll bring y'all down below and we'll start uh, trying to work this thing back in. Here we go. Alright, so you can see the tube right here. I'm starting to work it back down in here. Um, so I may have to go up on top and keep working it till I get it in there. Right in here, and hopefully, y'all can see that. So I think we got it there. We'll stick the... You got to make sure you got it in all the way or your dipstick reading will be wrong. And then you'll think you're low on oil, which you really ain't. So let me go back up top. Alright guys, there we have it. We got finally got the bolt in here. It's nice and secure. It's not touching the header anywhere. And we got to add just a little bit of oil, so uh, we've lost some, of course. But that's basically it for that oil leak there. That should take care of that white smoke issue I've been having. If we still get white smoke on this side, then we'll have to look into something else. So, what I'll do now drive it around a little bit and then see what happens um, see if I got any more white smoke coming out the back when I really get on it so that's about it for this episode make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time and you'll have to hit the little bell icon if you want to get alerts because it won't automatically send you alerts if you don't hit the bell. And then when you pop up on YouTube, you may not even know I uploaded a video unless you look over to the left, y'all's left, and you see like the list of people that you've subscribed to and you'll see like a red dot. 
and it'll show, oh, they uploaded a new video that you didn't see. That's the only other way. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this wasn't much of a video, just a dipstick with a dipstick. So stay tuned for new videos coming out. So thanks for watching. Till next time, keep it simple, keep it sweet.